Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to edit in Affinity Photo like in Lightroom. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, my new vlog is out where I meet another YouTuber, we fly around with drones in Vienna, have fun, talk about the technology of drones and well, just check it out. Okay, let's get started with this tutorial. So I downloaded Lightroom because I want to make a comparison video between Lightroom, Lumina 4 and Affinity Photo and I found something really cool. You can make these radial gradients to adjust your image. So for example in this image the building in the background is a little bit dark so I can click and drag out a gradient over that and you can see I already made some adjustments but you can go in here to exposure for example and say okay I want to make this a little bit brighter and I want to make a little bit more texture in here and clarity and well now we have adjusted that area, I can drag it out, I can rotate it and I can also draw another circle down here to adjust that area. So this is why this is important to have these kind of regional areas where you can adjust that. Well, you can do the same thing in Affinity Photo. Here is how that works. Well, you could say, oh, I know that I go to the developer persona. Well, not so fast. There is a better way to do this actually because it gives you more freedom, more possibility and that is that you simply take any kind of adjustment. So let's do the same thing. I want to have more exposure in the background. So I make an exposure adjustment down here. We have the adjustments. Click on that. Click on exposure. And now the next step is important. Go to your gradient tool right here on the left side like that. Select type radial or elliptical so you can adjust both arms make it an ellipse and then you want to set this one side white one side black like this boom and now I can simply draw in my ellipse like that and I can adjust the arms that it has so there's the arm here by the way if these adjust both at the same time so it acts like this then you have to click on this little I can appear with the lock so you can adjust them individually. This can be quite a headache until you find that little icon. Okay, so now I can just push my, whoa, super bright. Okay, we don't need that. Just a little bit like, mm, well, this looks good. Okay, perfect. So we have that in here. I can drag it out over here. And so I have created this and now my building is brighter. Maybe I want to make it a little bit darker still. Uh, let's go like this is good okay so let's say down here we have another area also mm, a bit dark let's right click on our exposure adjustment and click on duplicate so we have this again then select our gradient tool and draw in the gradient sometimes they reset and there's an easy trick to get back to what you already had click up here on fill switch over to swatches and there it gives you the reason swatches you can see this one is the one that's outside black white in the middle so let's click on that and there you have your setting again so that's pretty nice let's put this down here make it a little bit smaller like that and then we can still go in here with a double click and adjust it to our taste we can go like this looks pretty good now you can see because this was in a shadow it doesn't have as much color as over here so what we can do here simply is an adjustment for color balance for example so let's do that again we draw in our gradient here again it has reset so click on swatches and this one here so now it's in here and I can now do my adjustments Let's move this a little bit around. You can see that the green is changing in a very nice way. That looks pretty good, I would say. So we can have the before and after. So you can see this is the color in the shadow, which is pretty desaturated. Doesn't look very nice compared to this part in the sun. And now if I turn on the adjustment I have done, it now has a lot more and nicer color that fits that area over here a lot better. So you can see you can use this with any kind of adjustment and you can use this with any kind of live filter so you have a ton of options to play around this is why i love this kind of editing and as you have seen it is super fast it's very intuitive just play around with it have a go tell me what you think in the comments and if you like this kind of tutorial subscribe to my channel hit the little bell icon so you get notified and well see you in the next video Bye. Also check out my vlog.